see. Oh. This is the reproduction uh, with the engine. So uh, uh, in uh, 1998, we start to make the tooling to make this engine. So uh, people know uh, there is a WC1 engine, 99 engine, and uh, NE5 engine. Actually, uh, the NE5 means new edition 2005. So why we have these two? Oh, basically they are the same engine. So the difference only uh, in the year uh, 2005, we uh, in, in order to uh, to reduce the engine working temperature temperature. So uh, we make the cylinder uh, thin longer. So that's that the cylinder looks bigger. So, so this this engine different than the 1999 WC one, just the cylinder and the head only. So the, for the for the bar for the bottom, they are all the same. So in 99 uh, we use the heavier uh, flywheel, but today we use the light wheel in order to increase the performance of the engine. And in the future, we just offer the uh, the NE5 engine like this. Actually, we can we, we can say this is a two, uh, 2013 engine model like like this. So you see the new head. We have the two uh, two two holes here, one for spark plug, and the other one. Uh, if you uh, for for the uh, auto uh, completion release valve, valve. Uh, if you don't want to use the auto auto release uh, completion release valve, you can just put this screw uh, seal one of the hole like this. So only remind one hole for spark plug. And uh, also, you can use the uh, dual ignition uh, kit for here for for two points to make the ignition. So we call the dual ignition kit. So in the in the following video, we will show you show you this kit too. So from here, you can see there here is a small bracket. This is uh, used with this bracket. This is the uh, bolt on bracket for the frame between the frame and the engine like like this so So this put this mount this mount on the frame. Use this bracket bolt and then mount on the frame. Okay, so uh, in the engine kit we offer all the brackets for this engine mount on the uh, swing style uh, frame. This bracket also also for the 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 rear adjust the engine move from and backwards okay so we offer all these brackets for people assemble the engine in different frames okay so so this is like this especially today in order to uh, reduce the uh, negative compression because the the crankcase of the with the engine in order to fit on the uh, bicycle frame. So uh, original design of this engine very narrow and small. After you put 350 cc oil into this crankcase, and then the uh, space for the compression become very small. So in order to uh, release enough the negative compression so we 
uh, make the the bigger uh, we make the, we make the bigger uh, compression release can. So how to use this one? Uh, we we uh, let the engine release the compression from two holes. One from this point on the left hand cases, there is a hole to release the negative compression. And we also, on the compression release plate, we make another hole for release enough uh, uh, compressions from this hole too. So, how to assemble this? So, you, you can assemble this like uh, not difficult. So, just put this cube on. And here you can see there is a, a three-way uh, adapter. So you, you you can put this 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 tube on this side and put this on this side, and then another tube in here. and put the can here. The tube here may be too long according to uh, according to your your your, your friend. So you can you, you can decide how to uh, cut the tube to fit your friend. So this this can must uh, mount on your frame behind the engine a little bit higher than the bottom of the cases like this way. Uh, the best position of this can we think is behind the seats. So this is how show you the, the how, how to link the how to use this uh, big freezer can to release the negative compression. So the engine in, uh, introduced uh, assemble today now is just here. Uh, in, in, in order to make the carburetor uh, a little bit far away than the cylinder to uh, avoid the high working engine temperature. So we make this uh, 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 carburetor bracket. So how to mount this one? Let's show you here. Let's, the here is two different thickness of the gasket. So this is the uh, uh, gasket for the carburetor too. So you see, put this one on and then put this aluminum adapter on and then put this on put this on and this piece can release uh, the engine working temperature to the carburetor so this put this on here like this and then here is the two two long bolts so like this so and later you you put your your, your carburetor on here and then screw the nut to fit the carburetor on the engine. Here is the hold for the exhaust pipe. So uh, in the in the uh, following video uh, introduction, we will also introduce you how to assemble the exhaust pipe from this side. Okay, so this force uh, studs is for the uh, for the belt and the, for the belt tensioner and also for the belt cover. So 
this, this alternator is a uh, standard GY6 uh, alternator. So all these parts we use the adapter and connector. So this means plug and socket only. So in the main wire harness, you can very eat, you don't you don't need to care about the color of the wire. You just put the adapter, the socket with the plug together. Uh, it's pretty easy to assemble this engine on the frame. Okay.